why web space is untrustworthy. The flourishing of web space activities got major thrust in 19th and 20th centuries. The growth of new technologies and new devices made the life of man easy. All these innovative actions are result of transistor inventions. Integrating circuits using the micro-level resistors, semiconductor diodes, transformers reduced the size of equipments. Now in 2022, if we look back the growth of digitalization, we will realize that we have come across so many miles. You may be a person praising the importance of Google Pay in life. The concept of so-called money is now in these digitalized equipment. People are now trusting digital currencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum and Cardano. I knew many friends, trusting these sites and they are making huge money out of it. But what's your thoughts about it? Is that really trustworthy? Digitalization is very helpful. It saves time, it can lead us to so-called autopilot if you are a good programmer. Even though it is untrustworthy I like to enjoy its fruits. Yes, the highly secured Google also have security issues arising at different times. Two days before WhatsApp was inactive all across Kerala. Serious bug issues and virus softwares are in play in web spaces. Hence those branded companies are always in update mode. Some people are seriously afraid about large disparities in digital currency and tangible currency. Hence these people are always getting away from savings mode, they work, take their salaries and spend it. This is becoming a serious trend in India, after Covid, there may be inflation but riskful life are motivating the sellers to immediately sell those material goods. The mutating virus XBB recently arrived and many more viruses are on its evolutionary path. Many old age people and people with comorbidities are waiting for their turn to get caught with a 10 raised to 100th COVID new strain and go to the valley of death. I'm not going away from the subject. Web space is safe, for example if you say that these programmers know the following 10 raised to 1000 paths, you are going to step. But this is not happening. The evidence for it is the so-called digital frauds, hacking, phishing, cyberbullying and crimes. Can you believe this, if I can recreate your voices uploaded in web, I can easily command others. For example, if you are a superior and there are many officers below you. I can give commands and suggestions using these advanced technology. The real person may not be aware about it. Next thing is if you enter into certain domains, cookies will be installed into your search software and sometimes new software can be installed without your permission. You may have heard about so-called Pegasus software's cracking high-security person's secret data. Of course, installing front camera, checks in this type of softwares make web space transparent by stealing privacy of individuals. But if it gets into the hands of a terrorist organization, think what will happen. Excited states promised by these digital lights, make us easily addicted. If you calculate the rising income of porn industries, you will get an idea about it. This industry is a mortal industry an easy way to get high income in short times. This operates hacking the inherent programming of humans and hence after a certain age, everyone will become curious about all these kind of information. In India, we have ban of all these illegal pornographic contents. But we must realize that this is the only way to take away all values and if it is not regulated, this can lead to social poverty and sexual thirst. In a way, if it gets into the hands of psychopaths, crimes can happen. This can spoil social harmony and power of organizing. Next thing is it can make nations mutual enemies, if it is not wisely used, creating problem to international harmony. Everything has its own demerits. It's the way how we use this matters. Hence increasing ignition of switches is necessary and we must move on to smart work, autopilot modes, with reduced job pressures. 5G updation must be made use in transportation, telecommunication, agriculture and many more sectors.